News. My name is Annie, and today we'll announce your few breaking news. First, there was a traffic accident in New York City involving one boy and a poor man. The boy got almost hit by a truck, but the old man called as the laughing man saved his life. However, sadly, the laughing man lost his life, and he's dead now instead of the boy. Now we'll move on to reporter Jeannie, who will interview Sal the boy. Thank you, Annie. Hello, I'm reporter Jeannie, and I came to interview Sal. Hello, Sal. Hi. I heard that you had a traffic accident. Yeah. How's your recovery going? Um, it's going well. My, the doctor said that it's not too serious. That's good news. I want to know what happened. Um, I ran away from Marcus because he chased me, but then I almost got hit by a truck, but the laughing man saved me. I think you'll feel very sorry to the laughing man and also thankful. Yes, I do. <laughs> So, can you leave a comment for me? Um, thank you for saving my life. Thank you for answering to my questions. And let's go back to the studio. Thank you, Jeannie, for your interview with Sal, and we'll move on to the next. It seems that the $20,000 pyramid has ended, and our main character, Miranda, and her mom won a $10,000 and also cash bonus. Congratulations for all. And we'll move on to reporter Brian, who will interview Miranda and her mom. Thank you to Annie in the studio. I'm Brian, uh, the reporter in the scene with Miranda and Miranda's mother. Hello. Hello. Uh, congratulations again. And I heard you that you earned $2,000, which is a very a lot of money. So I want to know how will you use it? Well, I'm going to use it for a trip to China, which Miranda really wants to go. Oh, I wish you can enjoy your time. Okay, thank you. Oh, hi, Miranda. Uh, Come hi. over here. Uh, hello. Hello. Uh, did you expect your mother to win? Kind of, because we practiced hard and we took a lot of effort. And we always practiced with my mom and Richard. Oh, I see. So, uh, what did you feel when your mother won the show? It is true that I expected, but I was a, re a little surprised too. And I was very happy and I thought about all the things we can do, especially the trip to China, that I always wanted to go. Oh, I wish you can enjoy your time and back to the studio. Thank you, Brian, for your interview and we'll move on to last. There was a small bank rob in New York City in Jimmy Sanders' shop. It seems that only the employees knew where the money is hit, and now Jimmy is suspecting the employee's friend Julia only because she is Afri African American. Is this the right thing to do? And we'll move on to reporter Jeannie interviewing Colin and Mary and the owner Jimmy. Thank you, Annie. And I'm here to interview Jimmy, Colin, and Anne Marie about Jimmy's piggy bank rob. First, I want to ask you, Anne Marie. I heard that Jimmy suspected Julia, your friend, which is African-American, as the bank robber. Yes. How did you feel? I was really angry about it. It's not fair. It was not fair. And she was used to be my best friend. But he is blaming her now because she's African-American. I was really angry about it. I just wanted to quit the sanded truck. Oh, I think you really felt bad. And um, call it. To call it, Jimmy suspected Julia, but who did you think the robber was? I'm not sure, but I think someone robbed it when Jimmy was in the bathroom. And lastly, for Jimmy, uh, you suspected Julia, which is African American. So I want to ask you, do you hate the African Americans? Uh, yes, I did, but not now. And I am very sorry to Julia, and I wish many races in the world can change their mind. Ooh. I really wish Miranda, Colin, and Amory would work in Jimmy Sanders' job again, and they would be good friends again. Let's go back to the studio. This is the end of our DC for breaking news, and all of you, thank you for watching. Bye-bye.